Tell me, tell me what happened. How do you think you got it? How did it affect you? Uh, hello, uh, Christian. Good to see you again. And actually, um, it all started the last time that we uh, we talked uh, on the 19th of March uh, when I was in your program. And uh, that day I developed a um, high fever, a splitting headache, um, muscle pain everywhere, and particularly uh, a growing uh, exhaustion. And uh, so that's two months ago, and I'm still not fully recovered. As you may hear, my voice is still a bit funny, um, a bit hoarser. And um, I ended up in the hospital where for seven days where I needed uh, oxygen support. And when that was all over, um, I thought it was over. Uh, I developed a so-called organizing pneumonia. In other words, there was a, a hyperimmune reaction of my body against the virus. It was no longer the virus. And that was infiltrating my lungs. And uh, so I suspect there will be lots of people with uh, chronic morbidity, with sequelae. <clears throat> and, you know, it made me what, in my native language, Dutch, what we call an experienced expert. Up to now, for four decades, mm -hmm. I've been fighting viruses from Ebola to, to HIV. And now I thought, OK, a virus got me. And it was like being hit by a bus uh, where the virus gets into every single cell uh, of your body. And it shows also that um, COVID-19 is more than, you know, lots of people uh, get a bit of a flu and then 1% die. And then often they say, oh, it's only people over 70 and I'm 71 or people with underlying diseases. No, there's a lot in between and a lot of people who, um, you know, will suffer from lung affections, from uh, heart problems, uh, kidney problems uh, and so on. So that is really uh, gave me a so, new insight.